fellow pen lovers and stationery enthusiasts, it's Christy here, Snarky Wordsworth, over on Instagram and Reddit, and today I have a new pen unboxing for everybody out there. I am super excited about this. I have been wanting this pen ever since I saw it on Karina Loves to Plan, um, and then after speaking with the pen maker, I just really, really fell in love with everything about it. So let's go ahead and open this up. As you can see, this is a Just Turnings Bespoke Pen, and, and this is yet another installation of my hashtag year of the bespoke pen. And it is pen number 1102, and so latest uh, line, and then it's the uh, Turnt Pen Co's Opal. So if you follow me on Instagram, I posted a photo of my uh, new nails the other day. <laughs> And I was like, so what do we think I ordered to match these nails? Because that's just exactly what I do. Um, and I ordered uh, this pen and then my Estherbrook SD in the uh, winter white to go with them. Anyway, very excited. Okay, so we'll look at these in just a moment. Whew, here we go. Oh my God, look at it. And you can already see, okay. Okay. Calm down. <laughs> so here it is. I got the, I think he's, I don't think that they have specific names, but I've seen it sort of referenced as a deluxe version because of the uh, separate finials that can be swapped out. And I got this in that opal and oh my goodness, look at this. And then that beautiful, beautiful yellow. And then there's pink this thing is crazy. And every blank I've seen that comes in this particular colorway is different. And I love that about it. And I did opt for the gold finish because I'm that kind of girl. I love the gold. I think it does look amazing. Look at my nails with this pen. Guys, look at it. It's perfect. It is It's the same thing. <laughs> I am so excited. You can't, I don't even know how to explain. Um, but yeah, so uh, this does have, as I mentioned, the finials that you can swap out. And I opted to go with these lovely little pink sparkly ones. So there is this. And I know it's very strange. I do love the color pink despite not really loving bright pink inks, but I do love pink in general, as you can see from my sweater. Um, but let's go ahead and look at the nib. I'm also super excited about the nib. Okay. I decided to go with a Mr. Cypress fine nib in that stainless steel with the gold and the silver color. I love bicolored nibs. I just think they're beautiful. And look at that. Look at the little heart. How cute is this nib? I've never worked with a Mr. Cypress nib ever before. So I kind of was like, I need to try this. And I did get it in the fine. And I heard it's a little bit more feedbacky, like a sailor nib. So I'm very excited about that because I love a sailor nib. And it's just, this thing is ridiculously pretty. Oh, Look, and then, so the section, the section I do know is like very close to um, my perfect sweet spot, which is that SD style diameter. But look, like, look at the blue. Can you see this? This is crazy. This is crazy. Now I also, in addition to pink finials, want like blue and yellow. <laughs> I am legit the most ridiculous person. I just opened this and I'm already like, what other finials can I get? Um, let's 
Galaxy. And it is a cartridge converter, of course. Standard International. And yeah, so let's try and pop in the pink finials just to see what it looks like. They're super easy to unscrew. But you saw that, right? So just when you're undoing them, make sure you're careful to not be anywhere where you might lose the little finishing pieces. Look at how cute with the pink. It's just like fun and flirty and light and it just looks very springy to me. And then it does bring out like the little pops of pink throughout. Oh, I just like it a lot. Look at it. It's just like very fun. I feel like with the um, opal finials that like completely match, it's like super classy, super chic. And then you pop in these like little sparkle guys. Look, look at the sparkle. I know shimmer is sparkle and shimmer isn't everybody's cup of tea, but like, how can I not love that? That's just great. That is just great. Anyway, um, this is just exactly the kind of thing that I was looking for. I love white pens, but then I love the option to like, just add this little extra bit of flair. So excited about this nib. And I just, I just think this is really, really so cool. Okay, now that the pen is unboxed, I am going to go and grab the specs for you. I'm going to do a little writing sample and a size comparison when we get back. And then I'm also going to talk a little bit about the experience of getting this pen made, how fantastic Steven was over at Just Turnings, and what I was able to do as far as like picking and choosing different bits and pieces for this finished product because again I am I am so happy with this um like I can't I I'm so giddy over this anyway I will be right back so just hold on and we will get to some finer details okay I am back and while I do have specs to share I thought I'd talk a little bit about the whole uh, process of having this particular pen made. Uh, as I already mentioned, this is the Just Turnings Deluxe model, so it does have the finials that you can get in the different colors, and it does come with this gorgeous clip, and you can get the clip in either the gold finish or the silver finish. Um, and I opted to pay a slight upcharge so that I could get both the um, different colored finials and the original finials as well, so I can sort of swap back and forth. And you can opt for a Yovo number six nib in the uh, standard sizes, or like I did, you can opt for a gorgeous Mr. Cypress stainless steel that has that bi-coloring. And then this comes in fine, medium, and bold, I believe he had mentioned. And then they all come with that uh, converter and the converter is standard international, but it's a Schmidt K5, if you were curious. And you know, Stephen was really great in that I knew that I wanted an opal model. That one I, I knew right away, but I wasn't really sure about the finials. I kind of waffled a little bit and I mentioned that I would love to be able to bring out the pinks in the blank. And he gave me, I think, three different options. I asked, you know, what do you think? So he came back with a purely transparent pink, the uh, sparkly pink that we see here and an opaque sparkly pink model as well. I just decided that I definitely wanted sparkle, but I also wanted the transparency. So this is the design that I ended up choosing, but he was really, really open about kind of going back and forth with me, which I really, really love. And I feel that's just kind of one of the best parts of going with bespoke pens is that it can become such a personal experience and you really can put your own personal tastes and finishes on things. So yeah, it was a great experience with him and I would definitely recommend uh, his shop just by that alone. But let's go ahead and talk about the specifics just in case you have any questions about those. So when you have the Just Turnings Deluxe model, mine ended up being capped at 150 millimeters. Okay. 
And since these are bespoke pens, they're hand turned, you can have a tiny, tiny bit of variation from pen to pen. So do keep that in mind. It's not like, you know, some injection molded design. These are going to have small uh, differences from pen to pen, but they will all be right around the same. And so uh, uncapped, Mine runs at about 135 millimeters. Now, I suppose you could post if you really wanted to, but I definitely feel like the balance isn't quite where I would want it to be if I did post, and I'm a pen poster, uh, but you can see how it fits in my hand, and and it, it's, it's really very comfortable as far as length goes and as far as the weight distribution when it's not posted. It's just a really well-sized pen. And I have fairly small hands, but I do think even if you had larger hands, that this would definitely be a pen that would work for you. So capped and uncapped, we've gone over. The grip is about 10.8. And that's about as close as I could get with my particular measuring tools. I don't have calipers or anything. It's just, you know, me gazing at a ruler and trying to decipher where it's falling. Um, but yeah, that 10.8 is, you know, right around exactly where I love having a grip size. Um, my favorite grip, I've said many, many times, is the one on the Estabrook SD. This is just a tad bit larger, and it doesn't feel bad at all. It's very, very comfortable. So if you do like a slightly larger grip, this is, this is definitely one to think about. And then weight. I measured at 25 grams with a full converter. Um, this is definitely right where most of my other... Uh, bespoke pens have fallen. So I, I don't think that this is going to feel like an outlier or anything like that. Okay, and now that we've got our basic specs out of the way, let's go ahead and do a quick writing sample so you can get an idea of how the Mr. Cypress Fine writes. Okay, so this lovely little nib is really, really fun to write with. So you can already see it's still drying down a bit, but you can see even with the fine, uh, there's a decent amount of shading, which I always am in favor of. And what I thought was interesting is, as far as audially goes, I definitely hear the feedback, but I don't feel it very much. Um, a lot of times in my fine sailors, I definitely feel the feedback a lot, uh, which I love. Don't get me wrong. I do. I do like that experience. But this is a much smoother feeling nib to me. And maybe it's because of the stainless steel. I have no idea. But this is actually quite delightful to write with. If you want more of that feedbacky sound, but maybe want a slightly less feedbacky feel, this might be a nice choice in place of the Yovo. It is, you know, not quite as smooth as some of the Yovos that I've been playing around with lately, but it's quite nice and it's quite comfortable to write with. Okay, uh, I am going to take just a second to actually go out and do a full writing sample with this just because I'm quite curious if it's only feeling super duper smooth because I just inked it up uh, because it is quite interesting. I definitely can hear the feedback more than I can with a lot of other nibs, but it's quite a smooth writing experience uh, from what I was expecting. So one moment and I will be right back. Okay, I am back. And after writing an entire 
uh, writing sample, I got to say the experience of the rather smooth nib gliding across the page with the audible feedback continued at least all through this page. So I'm willing to bet it's just the way that this nib writes, which is fantastic, though a little bit unexpected. Uh, and you can definitely see there's still quite a bit of shading in this fine nib. I'm really, really liking it. Um, it's just, it's just a really fun writing experience. And I'm very, very happy with how this is uh, turning out. Okay, let's get moving with the size comparisons. These, of course, are some of my most used pens totally capped. Um, when it's capped, you can see that the Just Turnings Deluxe is definitely towards the very longest of my pens. Uh, the longest for ages and ages has been the Banu Euphoria. Here is the Estherbrook Esty, the Walltown Pens Onslow, the Pilot 742, the Zodiac Pen Company Virgo, Pilot Decimo, um, Platinum Century 3776, Pelican M400, Sailor Pro Gear Slim, Twisby Diamond Mini, and the Caveco Sport. Now, I know it's it falls in the larger size capped, but because I'm not really posting it, it's not feeling like a very different writing experience. It's really quite comfortable. I haven't felt any kind of shift as far as enjoyment goes. It's just it's just a really nice pen and I'm really, really liking it. So the big tell, of course, will be once we uncap the pens and I can show you the size with the ones that I do post and the ones that I write with unposted. So give me one moment and I will uh, show you that comparison line. Okay, and here they are all uncapped and either posted or unposted depending on how I prefer to write with them. Okay, so that was my unboxing and initial impressions review of Just Turning's Deluxe Fountain Pen. I really do love this thing and definitely recommend that you check out Just Turnings to see if uh, Stephen might have anything that would appeal to you. Now, if you happen to have any questions about the process, the pen in general, the nib, whatever, please do pop those questions in the comments below. If you have your own pen and you want to share what your feelings are, definitely do that too. Always excited to hear from other people. Anyway, if this video was entertaining, useful, helpful, whatever, please do consider giving me a thumbs up or potentially even subscribing to the channel. Uh, as always, it was fantastic to share this time with you. Thank you to everyone who's actually stayed to the end of this video. If you have, you are everything is awesome. And hopefully I will see you next time. Bye-bye.